The Market Photo Workshop will be showcasing an exhibition titled Reclamations that reflects both the aspirations and the disquiet of their communities. The exhibition will focus on transitioning societies and refocus our attention on matters such as gender, race, migration, the divide between urban and rural land restitution, spirituality and much more. The Market Photo Workshop, in partnership with the Tierney Family Foundation, creates opportunities for photographers and helps shape them while also cultivating the development of photography as a medium. But to tell us more, we join via Skype by Peggy Tini, the Manager of Training and Public Engagement at the Photo Market Workshop. Peggy, a very good morning to you. Thanks for joining us. Welcome to Morning Live. Thank you. Good morning. How are you? Well, I'm great. Uh, good to have you on the show this morning. Uh, this is certainly a, a new exhibition which delves into quite a number of societal issues. Take us through what one can see through reclamations. I think uh, through reclamations, what the, the market workshop is teaching to do is to celebrate actually 12 photographers that have produced work which reflect our societies for the past uh, 12 years. So there is a variety of work which would be showcased on this uh, exhibition, work which in, includes and looks at issues like race, issues like uh, gender, um, identity, um, memory, and uh, masculinity. So there's, there's quite a number of bodies of work that have been produced by 12 uh, photographers over the, over the last uh, 12 years. So these, these are the works that actually are being celebrated, that are being revisited and uh, being put together for, for, for us actually to be able to share them with the larger and greater public. You know, Peggy, who are some of the photographers taking part? How do you go about selecting them? I mean, do you, do you select them from the huge pool of photographers or you only select those with a particular emphasis on human interest stories? So the TND Fellowship is actually an award program. Uh, where we celebrate young emerging photographers um, that have got an idea or a board of work that they want to produce, but are actually struggling to find support and infrastructure and resources to be able to produce that board of work. So we, we go through a process where we look for young photographers to apply and propose a, a project which actually um, means something special to them and deals with a particular issue. And then a, a panel of judges will then sit and look at all the proposals and then award a deserving candidate. So this is a, a program which is being done in collaboration with the Family Foundation, uh, who actually give us resources to run check. But we as the market for a job, we then get the space uh, where the young photographers can work with the established photographers to be able to realize this body of over a period of a year. So, so this is which actually celebrates uh, um, photographers that have got idea to deal, deal and that are quite important in their society. Okay. And the exhibition, I understand, will be shown virtually at the National Arts Festival on Photoform. Do you think that this will be the route that photographers will take, even post-COVID-19? Do you think you'll generate enough interest seeing that this is novel and, uh, you know, it's never been done in this way before? Absolutely. I think uh, as, as a photographic institution, we have to evolve with the times. And unfortunately, the coronavirus has actually thrust us into, into, into the digital space um, as when we were unaware that we would bring this but we, we have done a location over the last month online, which is uh, quite a great review. And for us, we believe actually that this is the route that we have to take so that the work that we produce has not only in the gallery space in physical form, but can also be seen online and digital platforms and reach a, and reach a wider audience. So we, 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 are, we are actually quite confident that this is uh, the route that even our students and even our photographers and our stakeholders have to take. Yeah, and the Market Photoshop, Peggy, uh, in partnership with the Tien Family Foundation, creates opportunities, massive opportunities. And how can young people then find out more information and be a part of these? 
Um, more information is available now on our website, www.marketforexshop.co.za. Uh, but we, we are also available in our space to be able to engage with anyone who has an interest in this program. Um, so we, 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 like I indicated before, that this is a program basically to support young emerging photographers that will not even have uh, resources to be able to realize bodies of work. So we, we are grateful to our partners, the Tenry Family Foundation, but also some of our, uh, our partner organizations here in South Africa, Vet School of uh, Arts and Michali School of uh, Fine Art. Um, so through all these three institutions, um, uh, anyone who's interested could actually engage with us and find out if they could be part of this uh, program that gives uh, young photographers a chance. As this is a largely human interest exhibition, what is it that you want uh, the people to take away from this exhibition? We want people to engage with the bodies of work. Uh, we want people to celebrate the young photographers that have gone on to produce these bodies of work. And uh, these, these works actually have launched their careers and made them to be award-winning photographers. But more importantly for us, uh, which is what we believe as the market photoshop, is that photography has to create debate in, in communities. And through these works, we find out that we are going back again to debate issues that are very important in our society. For example, Sipo Konyaga's work actually looks at black masculinity and asks questions, what is it to be a man? And I think in a situation um, where we are now with the, uh, uh, with the um, GPV uh, epidemic that we are facing in our societies, we need to definitely sit and ask these questions. But most important also, there is issues around race, there is issues around um, uh, uh, RTP houses, there is issues around memories and uh, MK veterans and, 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 and their status in our modern day society. So these bodies of work actually ask very pertinent and very important questions. And we want the audience to, to be able to engage with us and debate these issues in our own society societies and communities. All right, Peggy, great chatting to you. Thank you so much for your time. Thank you so much. That was Peggy Ntini talking to us about the virtual exhibition Reclamation, which will be taking place at the 2020 National Arts Festival.